Hey, I just wanted to see if I'm successful, please. Sure, what's your name? Joel Kurlowski, the super brave teacher. Yep, let me check. Um, yep, Joel Kurlowski, super brave teacher. You're a failure. Me? Um, don't you see all these great things I'm doing? Yep, exactly. You're a failure. Is it filming? Yes, friends, it all depends on your metric for success. What's your metric for success? Hmm. 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 <laughs> hey friends, I'm Joel Karlowski, the Super Brave Teacher, and like I said, I'm a failure, and I'm gonna get into that. Definitely a failure, depending on your metric of success. Before I get into that, like this video, share this video, do your part to spark bravery. We are gonna be radically accepting. We are going to be lovingly kind. We are going to be persistently curious and we are gonna be grateful. So I am grateful for you. Thank you for all you do. Being you is enough. And if you wanna add a little extra magic and beautiful things coming my way, like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, do what you do. Tweet it, pin it, insta it. You know what to do. Thank you, friends. So I just finished another book and I, I know you're telling yourself, Joel, how do you read so many books? I listen to them. I am a nonverbal processor. I love listening to things. It gets everything just going in my body in beautiful ways. And I listen to them at 1.5 speed or two times the speed. So I can get through books in a few days. And so do that if that works for you. If not, and you're reading five books a year, yay, because you're you. This is me, and that's, anyway. <laughs> Whoa, Joel, okay. <laughs> we know you listen to audiobooks. So I just finished another book, and it's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F Word. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a, and it's by Mark Manson. Whoa, I just got a proper noun, I just got a name. I'm not really good at remembering names of anybody. So if I don't know your name, tell me, because I'll forget it. And it was an amazing book, and the whole point of the book is, is just, yeah, you want to give up, but you want to give up about what's important. And you also want to know that you have a metric that is aligned to your purpose, that is aligned to your values. So for me, it is so easy, and if you're a YouTube creator, you know this, or if you're anyone in the world, you know this, that when you put certain metrics in place, it is easy to feel like a failure. So if I put the metric in place, this YouTube channel will be successful, I will be successful when I get a million views, when I get a million likes, when I get a million comments, when I have a thousand people telling me how great I am, when I inspire 10,000 teachers to be out and proud and visible and spark bravery, when I am there for 100,000 students and let them shine their LGBTQ plus light, which all those things are wonderful. And if it happens, yes, let it happen. Universe, let it happen. Um, but those are all external motivators. Those are all external metrics for success. And let me tell you what I've seen to be true in my life. The moment I get something, I'm like, got it. What's the next thing? We are constantly, once again, I'll speak for myself, I am constantly chasing the carrot. I am constantly like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get all kids to be reading by February. <laughs> reading by February. And then the next year I'm like, I'm gonna get all kids to be reading by January. <laughs> I'm gonna get all kids by December, November. I bet in the first week I can get all students to be readers. You know, and you start chasing these external things. But what I'm learning is it depends on the metric for your success. It depends on what you view a success. And my value is, like I keep saying, sparking bravery, making it better today, using loving kindness, using radical acceptance, using persistent curiosity and intense gratitude. So this morning, I am off because it's MEA and it'd be really easy to say, you know what? I had a successful day because I took two naps. I ate 2.5 meals. I got a workout in. 
I went biking in the sun, I filmed videos, I da-da-da-da-da, and it's like, therefore, I had a successful day, and when my husband gets home, I can tell him, look, at my metric for success, I was successful. While internally, feeling, you know what? I had a horrible day, or whatnot, right? Or I could do nothing today, and I could say, you know what, it was the most successful day ever, because my metric is radical acceptance, loving kindness, intense curiosity, and gratitude. So maybe I went on a walk by myself, listening to my book probably, and was just grateful and taking in how I live in a beautiful neighborhood with a beautiful community of people and sending gratitude and loving kindness to them. Maybe it's me going to a bookstore later and sitting with someone and saying, how are you doing today? Tell me about your day, I wanna hear about it. I don't care that there's other people in line. Tell me, tell me about you. I think that internal metric is so much easier and also validating and valuable than an external one. And even as I was giving you examples, I'm realizing like these are external things, but I think it's doing these things, but having that internal dialogue with yourself, that internal metric with yourself of, am I doing these things in place that align with my values? And if I am, success, success, success. It does not matter if I get all students to read by February. What do I get for that? A sticker? A pat on the back? Uh, you're the best teacher in the world? What does it matter if I'm the best teacher in the world if I do not see that in myself? What does it matter if I'm doing all these things technically to spark bravery, but I don't see that and I don't make it known who I am and all those things. So. As I do on these videos, I'm like getting around the point and thank you for like joining me on this like not perfect journey. Whee, whee. But I encourage you to look at your metric for success. Look at your metric and ask yourself, does it align with my values? Am I being, does it align with what I view is the truest, most loving story for myself and for others? And if not, it's okay to revamp that. It's okay to say, I've been doing the best I could. Like, getting kids through by February was a great goal, and I did the best I could. And now, I want those kids to be the bravest, best, kindest, most loving kids around. And it's not easy to measure that. As an educator, you're like, oh, how do you measure love? It's impossible. But that's the metric I'm going for. And I see these kids loving coming to school, and loving being who they are and being in a safe, beautiful, brave space. And that feels so much better to me and aligns so much more with my values than getting kids to know 250 high frequency words, which is important and has its place. Yeah, so yeah, be gentle on yourself. It's, it's as I'm seeking this, I'm like, uh, Joel, make sure you drink your own Kool-Aid. Joel, make sure you actually do what you're talking about. And that's my work. That's my internal work right now of saying, Joel, look at your values. Look at who you are. Make sure you know that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I am, yeah. So thanks for watching this video, friends. Super brave friends of mine. You are accomplices with me. Like it, share it, tweet it, do all those things. Let the word be known and look at, again at your metric for success because you being you, cha-ching, your success. You living your values, cha-ching, awesome. You saying, you know what, I have zero tolerance of bullshit anymore, cha-ching, success. And it's hard, it's a lot easier to have these external things, right? To be like, look, I'm the super brave teacher of the week, I'm da 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 do I know that? Little by little. You are appreciated. You are valued. You are loved just for being you. You are a success. And Joel, la, 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 la. you are loved. You are appreciated. You are valued. You are enough. Slow down, Joel. You are valued. You are loved. You are appreciated. You are a success because you are you.